Thanks to their sizable bodies and sociable natures, Maine Coons are known as the gentle giants of cats. Not only is it fluffy and pretty and everything you might think a cat should look like, it also has the personality that matches the way it looks – fluffy, pretty, and everything in between. Today we will tell you about Maine Coon Cat Breed – 10 Unknown Facts and Why You Should Own. Ten. They have interesting origin stories. Maine Coon cats are native of the pine tree state. With their brown coat and bushy tails, one of the common explanations for their origin is that they are the result of a semi-wild tabby mating with raccoons. They are considered as a native of the northeasternmost state. Most Maine Coon enthusiasts believe that this magnificent breed resulted from long-haired cats brought by New England seamen mating with local short-haired cats. Another story is that they are the progenies of six cats that Queen Marie Antoinette shipped to Wacasset, Maine when she plans to flee from France all through the French Revolution. The less interesting but more believable story is that coons originate from short-haired cats mating with long-haired cats, which were imported to America by the European sailors and the Vikings who landed in New England in the 1700s. Being a Maine native means they have to put up with the harsh New England winter, but fret not, they are built for it. Their long and shaggy coats that get thicker around the neck and stomach help protect them from snow and keep them warm. Their ears have distinguishable tufts of fur, as well as their huge paws, which are thick, giving the Maine Coon their own snowshoes. 9. They are the biggest domestic cat breed. There's a reason why some people have mistaken pet Maine Coons for bobcats. They're huge. Maine Coon is the biggest domestic and non-feral cats breed. They often grow to over 20 pounds. This playful nature and intriguing cat breed are known for their love of the snow and their unique passion to play fetch. Coons are big, muscular cats with an average weight of about 13 to 18 pounds. Their average length is 10 to 16 inches tall and about 48 inches long, plus the tail. This, along with their thick coats, makes them look like giants compared to other domestic cats. A lot of people know that the Maine Coon is one of the largest breeds of domestic cats, and the male ones can grow as much as 15 to 25 pounds. However, there have been Coons who have become known for growing much larger than that. The Guinness World Record for the longest cat has been awarded to Maine Coon cats Stewie, who measured 48 and a half inches, and more recently to Ludo, who measures around 46 inches. Maine Coon cats are said to be the dogs of the cat world not just because of their size, but due to their personalities. They are known to be very loyal to their owners and can be a bit wary of visitors. They are also very playful and love to clown around and be silly. 8. Maine Coons Like Playing in the Water Although there are some myths about Maine Coon that are somehow related to raccoons, even though there is no scientific proof to that tale, but one thing they share in common with the nocturnal mammals is their love of water. The luscious coat that coons are known for is water resistant. It is also thick and dense that Maine Coons don't mind getting in the water or playing with water. A lot of Maine Coon owners have observed their cat's love of water and is actually a delight for both the cat and the owners. They love to shower and if you own coon cats, you will observe that they like rubbing their head on your legs after you come out of a shower. A lot of Maine Coon cats also like to swim. This may be because of their dense and moisture resistant coats, but for some reason, Maine Coons like water. While the other cats will avoid a full bathtub, a Maine Coon will probably jump into it. Also, they have large paws that help them walk on snow, furry ears, and bushy tails, which they can wrap around their body for more warmth. 7. They come in all kinds of colors. Their common color and pattern is mackerel tabby or brown classic, but they can have many variations of solid colors tabby, bicolor, including tortoise shell. The only exception is they don't come pointed like the Siamese. Their coats are as unique as their characters. They are not all brown. There is a common thought that Maine Coons are often synonymous with the brown raccoon-like coat. As already explained in number four, they come in all kinds of colors and patterns, but Maine Coon owners do not breed cats with chocolate, lilac, or seal point Siamese coloring because the Cat Fanciers Association, CFA, prescribes these colors because they indicate hybridization. 6. They won the first popular juried cat show in America One of America's first well-known cat shows was held in New York City's Madison Square Garden in 1895. 
There, a brown tabby Maine Coon cat named Cozy won the event's Best Cat Award. Today, the silver collar and medal Cozy won at the event is on display at the Cat Fanciers Association headquarters in Alliance, Ohio. For a long time after, Maine Coons were the country's most coveted breed until Persian cats came into vogue. After that, cat fanciers stopped breeding the prize-winning Maine Coon. The cat became so scarce that some sources say it was thought to be extinct in the 1950s. Aficionados joined forces to rescue the fluffy feline from obscurity, forming the Maine Coon Breeders and Fanciers Association in 1968. In 1976, Maine Coons were accepted for championship status by the CFA. 5. A Maine Coon was the first pet to be cloned commercially. In 2004, a Maine Coon named Little Nicky became the first pet animal to be cloned commercially. After Little Nicky died at the age of 17, his Dallas area owner Julie, who declined to give her a full name to media outlets, saved his tissue in a gene bank. She paid $50,000 to have a California-based Genetic Savings and Clone Incorporated, a controversial company dedicated to dog and cat cloning, transplant Little Nicky's DNA into an egg cell. A surrogate mother cat carried the embryo and gave birth to a kitten that was similar in appearance and temperament to Julie's prized kitty. According to newspaper interviews, Julie was a happy customer. However, she won't be commissioning a Little Nicky 3 anytime soon. Genetic Savings and Clone Incorporated, which made global headlines for producing the first cloned cat, Cece, in 2001, closed in 2006, reportedly for financial reasons. 4. Most Maine Coon cats have six toes. According to history, the original coon cats may have had extra toes. They were usually polydactyls, which means that coons were born with additional toes or fingers on their paws. Many experts estimate that nearly 40% of the initial Maine coons had this trait. This is a result of a genetic mutation, which some people say helped the cats adapt to harsh weather conditions. Though this trait had almost extinct in coons, as cat shows automatically prohibit any cats with such characteristic. 3. They don't require much grooming. With their hairy tail and long-haired hindquarters, you might consider that Maine Coon cats will need a lot of grooming. Coons coats naturally fall smoothly, and they do not require much grooming from their owners. Grooming them once or twice a week will keep their coats in a healthy condition. 2. A Maine Coon cat starred in the Harry Potter movies. Pebbles, a female Maine Coon cat, was one of the three kittens who played Argus Filch's pet feline Miss Norris in the Harry Potter films. The coon was a spayed mama cat that animal trainers discovered in a kennel in southwestern England. Although the report said she was not as responsive to complex training as the other cat actors in the film, however, she was good at walking across the set and stopping on command. While Professor McGonagall was played by a silver tabby whose breed is unknown, and Crookshanks was played by a Persian cat, Ms. Norris was played by a Maine Coon cat. Well, actually, Ms. Norris was played by a total of six different Maine Coon cats. Even though Maine Coons are easier to train than most cat breeds, it's still an arduous process. Instead of training one cat to do all of the tricks required for filming, the crew taught six different cats just one or two necessary tasks. 1. Maine Coon cats don't meow much. If you're lucky enough to own one of these beautiful and big cats in your life, you'll know it's absolutely true. Maine Coon prefers to communicate by trills and chirps with occasional meow in between. And regardless of their big size, their meows are generally soft and sweet, just like the cats. They can be heard doing different kinds of vocalizations like trilling and chirping. Any cat can chirp or trill, but Maine Coon cats are known to do these very often. Cat owners love hearing these sweet sounds from their cats. We don't know for sure why they chirp or trill when they do, but chirping is said to be made by cats when they spot or catch prey. Trilling Maine Coon cats are so fun to talk to. With such charming looks and personalities, it's no wonder that Maine Coon cats are so popular. These cats are smart, stunning, and affectionate. Do let us know in the comments what makes you love Maine Coon. If you're thinking to adopt one, please subscribe to the All Cats. Thanks for watching.